really dark in here or is that just me? My ring light's on, hands. Come on camera. Oh my God, I should name my camera. Maybe you're too far away. Zoom in. Yeah? No? I don't know. Anyway, hi guys, it's me Robin. Welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I'm doing an updated Q&A. Now, I know this is more like an old thing now, and it's like in the past. You know, that's so 2017, Robin. Yeah, okay, I know. But, I've already done an avoiding questions I've... <laughs> answering questions I've been avoiding. Quick fire assumptions. Now I want to do a Q&A because, you know, I just want to do an updated one. I haven't done one since my very first video, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, you know, I just thought I'd let you guys get to know me a bit better. For, for those of you who are either new, or you've forgotten, or you just don't know me, or you just fancy knowing even more. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. I've got loads of questions from Google because I left it kind of last minute and I didn't actually remember to ask anyone. So, got them from Google, but it's fine. So... We're just gonna go straight into this, you know. So, <laughs> these some of these are quite random questions. Okay, so if you could go anywhere right now, where would it be? The beach, any beach. Honestly, been in lockdown since last March, haven't left the country since last, last August. Wow. It'll be two years. Okay, we're not gonna, we're, right, we're not talking about COVID, we are not getting down. Come on, Robin. Currently in isolation, not isolation because I've got COVID. I mean like the world is in lockdown. Well, the UK is in lockdown. <laughs> I'm so jealous of like New Zealand. They're like cured of the virus. But anyway, come on Robin, Q and A. Sorry, I'm really in a weird mood today. Um, yeah, any beach, literally any beach, preferably Pig Beach. I'd love to go there or anywhere in Italy. I'm not complaining. I will even go to Brighton Beach. That's how desperate I am to get to a beach. Would you ever like to be famous? Yes and no. I don't want to be like really famous. The only thing I'd ever want to be famous for is YouTube. And I know that's not like the same fame as like being an actor, but that's the only thing I'd ever want to be like famous for. Um, just because like, it's like a nice platform, you know? Obviously you get your haters and that, but I don't want to be like a singer. Not that I can sing. Don't want to be like ridiculously famous to the point where I get death threats every day. I don't want that. Um, I'd, I'd kind of like to get like, you know, a million subscribers kind of famous. Not much more than that. Obviously I'd be so over the moon if I get more than a million subscribers, but I don't want to be here like 2,000 million, is that even a number? 2,000 million subscribers. <laughs> don't want to be that famous. Cause I don't want to like not be able to walk out on the street without people knowing who I am, you know? Wait, I don't want to walk out on the street having everyone know who I am that's what I meant like I want to be able to go into Waitrose and people I don't know why I said Waitrose I've never been into Waitrose don't want to go into like Poundland and people be like oh my god look it's Robin it's Robin you know <laughs> I feel like I'm not making any sense I don't know why I'm in such a weird mood do you like TV talent shows if uh, like BGT yeah Britain's Got Talent X Factor things like that I love them do you still have your childhood teddy bear? Yeah, I do. He's actually in the loft and he is called Bear and he is a bear. You know, imaginative names, go me. You know, I'll call my firstborn child Baby. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, don't you worry. I have my names picked out. Have you ever been in the snow? I have. Not in a very long time though, because it doesn't seem to snow here. You know, we don't get sun and we don't get snow, so what is the point in living here? Like, it's raining all day, every day. Oh, I'm so bored of living in this country. If you could change one thing that's happened to you, what would it be and why? One thing that's happened to me. I guess COVID. But that's not just happened to me. I mean, it hasn't even happened to me because I haven't had it. Um, would you change one thing? Ah, I know. I would have rather got Cosmo now. That's my cat for anyone who's wondering because I only have like eight years left with her and I'd rather have 16 years left with her, you know? I can't think of anything other than that, I'm so sorry. Um, what would be your ideal partner? So, I like tall, dark and handsome guys. That is my type. Um, that is just, yeah. I know, it's so basic and boring. Dark hair, dark features, you know, quite tall. Taller than me. Don't have to be like six foot four, just taller than me, you know. Um, big features, like I like muscly. Um, beard. I like like a man, you know, like manly look, but then who can also be nice and like cute. It's a really strange type, I know. Um, 
How many pairs of shoes do you have? Girl, if you know me. <laughs> There's no point answering this question. Oh my goodness, I have no idea. I have so many pairs of shoes, I can't even answer that. Um, because I have all my winter shoes and that's like 40 pairs of shoes. Oh my goodness, bank account, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Some of the shoes are ones that I've been sent, um, which is nice of them. Uh, but yeah, all of my summer shoes I've all bought myself and there's about 40 pairs of them as well, including things like sandals. Um, so I have nearly 100 pairs of shoes. Wow, that's like a rough count though. Um, favourite holiday, beach, mountain or city? Beach all the way, never been to a city holiday or a mountain holiday, so none of them. Um, do you like scary movies? No, I absolutely hate them. They're like my biggest fear, obviously scary. Um, I hate them. Like, I will just sit there, I'll be that person who's sitting there with the duvet over the head. Like, I, I hate them. If you make me watch one, I don't know why we're friends, because... I hate them. I will watch a comedy, a romance, um, that's about it. Action, I like action because I love James Bond but I don't like action horror, action thriller, I don't like anything like that. I know it's a bit controversial so yeah. Um, do you, have you ever fired a real gun? This is interesting, have I ever fired a real gun? Um, no, I think it's just been like those BB guns and like, not at people like at like um places where you fire guns i can't really think of what they're called um no i don't think i've ever fired a real gun uh, no i don't think i've been trusted with a real gun to be totally honest um last film you watched oh what was it it was some stupid disney film it was sorry to everyone who loves disney like yeah okay i can appreciate a good film but it was so bad it was about dogs i can't remember what it was though um, uh, do I like roller coasters? Absolutely flipping love them. I have been on so many roller coasters, but like not as many as most people probably. Okay, maybe I haven't been on that many, but I want to go on so many. I just realized how big my forehead looks with my hair pulled back. <laughs> I can't sit here like this. I literally look like a marshmallow. It's quite cozy though. This hoodie is very cozy. It doesn't have drawstrings though, which is a little bit strange. Um, have you ever cried at a film? Every night. I cry at a film every single time I watch a film. Like, uh-huh, yeah, just a little bit. Um, oh, well, that's a bit boring. Oh, okay. What do you call your grandparents? Um, I have quite a few different grandparents. So I have Nana and Pops. Hey, if you're watching. Um, I have Nanny and Grandad. I have Nanny and Gramps. That's it. <laughs> They're three different sets of grandparents. Um, what's your favorite drink? It's got to be, <laughs> it sounds so stupid. Okay, orange juice and lemonade. I know it's literally Fanta, but it's not the same. Like orange juice and lemonade is just, I have it every single day of my life. I actually ran out of lemonade, hence the pink drink. I don't actually know what that is. Um, strawberry and something, I think. Do you have a tattoo? No, because I am not 18 yet. Very close-ish, a year. I am getting a tattoo on my 18th birthday. But then I always said I was gonna drive on my 17th birthday and look, COVID came and ruined that, didn't it? So yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oh my God, I said I wasn't gonna talk about it. Okay, no, you know what? Yes, I am going to get a tattoo, but I don't have a tattoo yet. If you're asking what you're going to get, yeah, I'm going to be that typical girl. I know. I want to get a tattoo down my side in, like, Italian writing, but, like, really fancy, so you can't really read what it says. Because um, then, literally, unless I go to Italy, no one's going to know what it says. So, yeah, I think I might get it tattooed in Italy, so no one, like, screws me over, though, because if they spell it wrong, that would not be good. Um, do you prefer Titanic or The Notebook? <laughs> I have never watched The Notebook. Sorry. <laughs> People are probably gonna like scream at me through the screen. I'm sorry. So Titanic, but I will watch The Notebook tonight. <laughs> oh no, I don't wanna cry, isn't it a really sad film? No, okay, maybe I won't. Who has left the most impact on your life? My mum. Not in a bad way, like, oh my goodness, that woman. I give all credits to her, like, she's like amazing. Mum, if you're watching, hey. She raised me. <laughs> I don't, oh my God, that sounded so, 
<laughs> I wasn't saying like, wow, look at her, she raised me. I mean like, she <laughs> that sounds so bad. She raised me and my brother like, congrats to her. Well done, girl. <laughs> God, I sound like... <laughs> Honestly, ignore me, I'm in such a weird mood, I don't know why. <laughs> it's a Wednesday. Like, why am I in such a weird mood on a Wednesday at 3 p.m.? Oh, my ring light turned off, for God's sake. Oh, what should my ring light be called? Robin the ring light. R Ruby the ring light. And what's my camera? C Casey the Canon. <laughs> Casey the camera. Oh, anyway, I'm going off topic. Um, yeah, my mum, she's my biggest inspiration. She's like everything to me. Honestly, that woman, she is like as strong as a rock. Strong as a diamond. Wait, do diamonds smash? Easy? No, I'm pretty sure they're quite strong. Um, she is as strong as steel. There we go. Um she's amazing like thanks mum if you're watching you've done so much for me also my nan like she's gone so far in life this is nana we're talking about <laughs> if you're watching um honestly she has gone so far in her life i'm so proud of her go nan go you <laughs> honestly they are just like well she my mum is her daughter if you're wondering and they're like the same person except they're kind of different obviously but you know i love them both I love you guys if you're watching. Um, would you ever consider living abroad? I want to live abroad. Like, yeah, I consider that. Would I consider living in England? No. <laughs> I hate it. I honestly, like, yeah, okay, it's great and all that. But honestly, if I lived in Australia right now, I'd be able to walk out of the house without wearing a face mask. Said I wasn't going to talk about COVID. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> um, What's on the top of your bucket bucket list? Skydiving, paragliding, windsurfing, bungee jumping, anything crazy like that I want to do. Um, skydiving's always been at the top. I do actually have a little ticket thing to go paragliding. Paragliding, yeah, not parasailing. Parasailing I've done. Um, paragliding, I got that from my Nana last year and I still haven't been able to do it, but I'm gonna try and do it this summer. Fingers crossed for me guys, like this video. Um, what's the last compliment you got? One of my friends said you look stunning. I just gave her a FaceTime um, and we were talking about something. I don't really remember what, but she was like, you look so gorgeous, so thank you. Um, what's under your bed? My drawers. Don't actually have anything under my bed. It's just drawers full of clothes. Um, da -da 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 -da. what's the scariest movie you've ever watched? The Purge. And after that, I never watched another scary film again. Because I was like... 13 when I watched that film Not good um, What's one item you can't leave home without? I don't want to be basic and say my phone, but like it is my phone <laughs> Car keys oh, car keys house keys because then I literally cannot leave the house without house keys So oh, you know, I could be really sweet and save my smile <laughs> Why am I in such a weird mood? I honestly don't know um if you have a nickname, what is it? I have so many nicknames. Like, my mum calls me the most stupid names. Like, honestly, so I've always been, cause so my name is Robin, for anyone wondering. I've been Robs, I've been Robbo, I've been, I've been called Ribena before. I've been called, uh, what did one of my friends used to call me? It was really weird. Um, I can't remember. My mum calls me Boo, Boo Boo, Robin, I don't know, does that, I don't really know if that goes to that. Well, she did when I was younger anyway. She doesn't really do that anymore. Uh, it's mainly Robs. Like, everyone calls me Robs. Or Robbo, I do get a lot more now. Never used to get that. Um, I don't know. My name isn't really easy to shorten. Uh, Robs. Oh, I said that. Rob Z. Or, like, Rob Zoid. Rob Zoid. I've had that. Um, yeah, I can't think of any more, to be honest. Uh, I get called Emily by a lot of people, you'd be surprised, considering my name's Robin. Like, a lot of brands, when they message me, they say, hi, Emily. Um, you'd be surprised how many. But yeah, my name is actually Robin, for anyone wondering. Emily's my middle name. Um, if you could pick one, would you rather have infinite money or unending love? Unending love? Like, who needs infinite money? I'm happy, and I've not got infinite money. Inf 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 infinite money? Have I? Obviously not um so yeah obviously unending love like of course um if you could choose one only would you rather go to paris or london paris honey i live right next to london and it's not all that great i mean obviously people come from all over the world to see london so yeah we would go big ben but no i'm not that fast probably just because i live here 
Um, would you rather live in a five bedroom apartment all alone or live in a one bedroom apartment with five kids? You know what, okay, I'd rather live in a five bedroom apartment all alone and then have kids in that apartment. Quick thinking there. Uh, would you rather live, have a live-in massage therapist or a live-in chef? I'm gonna say a live-in chef because it sounds strange, but when I get massages, I'm fine then for another two months. Like, I'll just be like, okay, it's fine. I only ever want a massage when I've got, like, a knot in my back or something. And I cannot cook, so a chef, definitely. Pick one, cheat or be cheated on. Lovely. What a lovely question. Cheated on. Because uh, I would never do that. I, oh, oh my god, the thought of doing that just makes me feel sick. I just... Oof. But then, I mean, you'd never really get over it. Yeah, I'd rather be cheated on. I could not do that to someone else. There's no way. Um, perfect job or a perfect relationship? Perfect relationship. Have you ever cheated on an exam? Yes, but not like GCSEs. I mean, I didn't take my GCSEs, did I? You know, class of 2020 or class of 2015, actually, I was. Um, no, I haven't cheated on, like, a proper exam. But obviously, I, you know, in, like, French class, when you have it written up your sleeve, don't encourage it. But I was in, like, year nine. Come on. Who's not going to cheat on a French class when they can't even say je m'appelle properly? Like... <laughs> You know, I'm like Joey, you know, he's like, oh, the foof in France. If no one's seen that, then they're going to think, what the hell are you going on about, Robin? What's your favourite candle scent? Cinnamon. Uh, do you believe in karma? Yes, I do, because I'll say something mean to my brother and then I'll fall over a pebble or something stupid like that. And it happens every single time. So maybe I should stop saying mean things to my brother, but you know, he's my brother. Would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? American... I can't do an American accent. Would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? <laughs> I can't do that. Um, American, 100%, because I have a British accent. I mean, it's not all, like, that posh, you know? How do you even speak, like, British? Like, I was trying to do a British accent the other day. Do you just really pronounce everything? Okay, let's try. Hello, my name is Robin Emily. I am from the UK. My favourite country is Italy. That's not... I just sound like Siri. I don't sound... Oh, do you want some tea and crumpets? <laughs> um, short hair or long hair? I really want long hair. However, I prefer short hair. It sounds so stupid, I know. I really want, like, long hair. Like, if my hair came down to, like, here in this ponytail, I'd be very happy. But then I think I'd cut it off straight away because it's so high maintenance. Like, I've never had hair longer than, like, this down. But, yeah, it's just too high maintenance. Uh, what's your pet's name? Cassie Cosmo Tessie. I used to have a bunny called Cottontail and a guinea pig called Nutmeg and a fish called Goldie, Sylvie and Sylvie Gold. Three fish. Uh, I think that's all the pets I've ever had. Yeah. Oh, my sister did have three fish. No, she had two fish. They were called Bubblegum and... Oh my god, what was the other one's name? Candy Floss. So original, only. <laughs> Uh, quality you look for in a partner, I've already answered that. How many Instagram followers and pictures do you have? I currently have 1,460, no, 1,486 followers, God, I can't even read, 201 posts. Um, yeah. Uh, quality, oh, why do I keep reading the same questions? What profession do you hate the most? What profession do you hate the most? What, like, what job would I really not want to do? Something to do with science, I'd hate. Oh my god, a mathematician. Not because I hate the people, I just hate maths. Um, how often do you cut your nails? Honestly, I don't cut them, they just snap. Quite sad, actually. Proudest moment in high school? When I got my GCSEs, I want to say. Except, I mean, I was just happy because I got nine. And if you don't know what that means, it's an A-star star. I was like, okay, Robin, you did well. But then I didn't do my GCSEs, so I wasn't like... Wow, look at me, I put in all that hard work. Um, probably, uh, I don't actually know. Probably my graphics coursework, that was pretty good. Um, are you a shopaholic? Yes, always. <laughs> um, do you wear makeup every day? Definitely not. Most days I do not even put on a little smidge of makeup. Tall guy or short guy? Tall guy, as I said earlier. Have you ever done any cosmetic surgery i think that means have you ever had any cosmetic surgery no this is me 100 percent natural um would you consider yourself romantic yeah no i don't know i really like like restaurants and dates so yeah probably what's in my purse 
Oh, I really can't be bothered to go get my purse. Um, money, my credit cards. That's it. Don't have a driver's license yet, so that's not in it. Um, what sports do you like? Netball, athletics, rounders, cricket, badminton, volleyball, tennis. <laughs> Those are the ones that just roll off my tongue. I love athletics and netball, they're my favourites. Uh, can you swim? Yes. Go me. <laughs> Have you ever been in a physical fight? <laughs> no. Uh, what was the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? I've done a lot of embarrassing things, but like they're not like so embarrassing. You know, like there's not one that stands out. I've just done a lot of things that are embarrassing. Like walked into a bright yellow pole. That's how I lost my first tooth. I was literally like five or something ridiculous like that. Um, fell down a cliff. I say a cliff, you're going to be worried for my health. I fell down a gravel hill, but I was like eight, so it was a cliff to me. Um, I don't really know, to be honest. I've probably like gone into school in uniform when it's meant to be in clothes or something like that. Most embarrassing, I just fall over a lot. I walk into a lot of things. I say the wrong thing at the wrong time. That's just me. Um... Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Married. So I will be 27. So married. Uh, 27. I want to have two kids by then. And I want to be pregnant. With the... Th oh, hang on. Oh, no. Okay, I want to have three kids and I want to be pregnant with the fourth. Because I want four kids. Um... <laughs> I want to still be doing YouTube. I want to say I will still be doing it. And let's go 100,000 followers. I don't know. I think maybe maybe more by then, actually. I meant subscribers. Um, I want to be doing something to do with children, animals, or fashion. Any of those three I will be happy with. Uh, I want to be, like, happy in my job, you know. Happily married. All of that. I just kind of want to be happy and healthy, to be totally honest. Um, yeah. What's your ultimate goal in life? As I just said, to literally be happy, and I know people are probably thinking, come on, there must be something. I just want to have a happy life that I'm like, I want to be like proud of myself. I want to, you know, things like that. Hardest drug you've ever done. I don't do drugs. I've never done drugs. It's not my thing. Um, fame or richness? I mean, I'm going to say fame because you get rich with fame, don't you? <laughs> favourite board game. I don't have a favourite board game. Um, what physical activity do you enjoy doing? I love sport. Um, I enjoy running, but not in England because the weather's shocking. So, and then in summer it's too hot, so that, that's not really a thing. I love netball. Um, what other languages do you speak? Italiano. Um, my camera is flashing at me. Okay, I'll wrap this video up. I speak not like fluently I speak and I speak a tiny bit of French like minuscule amounts I speak about two sentences of German that's it uh I could probably say some Spanish Cruz de la Plaza that's Spanish isn't it across the street I think that means um I go to Spain every year so I mean I should know that that's it um what age would you like to retire 80 I think maybe 75, 80. Um, as I said earlier, I really want to be like my nana. So she's like still working now. Um, I'm not going to say her age on here, you guys. Um, but yeah, she's still working. And I want to be like that because like, you know, I want to just in enjoy my job that much that I want to do it till I'm like 80. She's not 80. I'm not saying you're 80. Don't worry if you're watching this. Um, uh, can you commit to one person? That's a very strange question, of course. Are you afraid of small spaces? I mean, I'm not. My mum is terrified. She's like so claustrophobic though. So I mean, I think I kind of get it from that, but I'm not. I just wouldn't, it wouldn't be ideal. I wouldn't want to be locked in a coffin, you know? How old were you when you learned to ride a bike? Probably like four. How many countries have you been to? Menorca, Mallorca. They're two different places, yes. Spain, Portugal. Crete, England, Wales, that's it, oh my god is that actually it, okay seven, hmm. 
thought it'd been to more than that to be totally honest uh right i'm gonna do a few more questions from the funny section and then i'm gonna finish off this video because it's gonna be so long how many pillows do you sleep with well i have seven on my bed like four actual like pillows i sleep on two um have you ever been featured in the news i actually have a, when i was doing tennis when i was like so young i think i was like 10 and i was on the newspaper so oh not like on the news on tv i was in the newspaper can you stand on one foot for an entire minute yeah can you impersonate someone famous i'm trying to think of someone to impersonate Ooh, this will be fun um no i can't even think of anyone to impersonate how bad is that Can you tap dance? I mean, I can. Not well. Um, what was your last dream about? Probably something to do with Vampire Diaries, to be totally honest. I'm a bit obsessed with that. If you were offered to be, be a superhero, what would you do? Oh, what would your power be? Flight or invisibility? Invis <laughs> invisibility. Probably flight. That's so fun, isn't it? I mean, I've never flew before, but I think it would be quite fun. Um, those are a little bit boring, to be totally honest. When's your birthday? 26th of February. So, yeah, wish me a happy birthday on the 26th of February. What talents do you have? Absolutely nothing. I'm not even just saying that. I'm literally not a talented person at all. What's your shoe size? Four. Where are you from? England. Do you have pets? Three. What's your lucky number? Eight. We're doing like quick fire. What's your favorite color? Gray and purple. What food do you love the most? Pizza. What sport do you like the most? Netball. Favorite pizza topping? Ooh, barbecue. Barbecue, <laughs> that's not a topping. Uh, pulled pork, lovely on a pizza. However, I do like pineapple on pizza, so I'm sorry to all those people who hate it. Do you like children? Yes, I'd like four children. Introvert or extrovert? Bit of both, I think it's called like an ambivert when you're a bit of both. Uh, dream holiday, Italy. Um, ah, furthest you've ever gone from home. Furthest I've gone from home is technically Crete. Furthest I've gone from home without my mum is Wales. Wait, was it even where? Oh, Germany. <gasps> I've been to Germany. I've been to seven countries. Eight countries. No, I went to Belgium. Eight countries. I went to Belgium without my mum. Um, what film do you love the most? Mamma Mia. Haven't watched it in ages. I need to watch that tonight. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to do for this video because this is very very long winded video and I'm very sorry it's so long but anyway I hope you guys did enjoy and learn a bit more about me leave some facts below about you so I can get to know you guys better as well but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you did enjoy and I will see you in the next one bye